and this question it is given that the temperature of two outer surfaces of composite slab consists of two metals having coefficient of thermal conductivity k and 2k and thickness uh, x and uh, 4x respectively are t2 and uh, t1 and t2 is greater than that of uh, t1 we can take it as t2 is greater than that of t1 the rate of heat transfer through the slab in steady state is uh, a into t2 minus t1 into k divided by x into f with f is equal to so our aim is to find out how much amount of heat energy is flowing through this combination so we know that uh, for solving this type of question we can just consider that it is like uh, two resistors of resistance r1 and r2 which were connected in series so let's say this resistance is r1 its resistance is r2 so you can write the value of its equivalent resistance of this combination will be equal to r1 plus r2 because they were connected in series and you can write the value of r is equal to nothing but l divided by ka so we can write as over here it is x divided by k into a plus r2 we can take it as nothing but uh, 4x divided by uh, k we can take it as 2k and area of cross section we can write as a will be equal to the value of equivalent uh, resistance so we can take it as uh, 2k a as lcm so we can write this as 2x plus 4x which we can take it as nothing but 6x divided by 2k a or this 2 and uh, 6 get cancelled so we can write as 3x divided by k a is a value of equivalent resistance so we can find out the value of rate of flow of heat energy dq by dt is equal to total temperature difference divided by the value of uh, equivalent uh, thermal resistance so total temperature difference is nothing but uh, t2 minus t1 and the value of uh, equivalent resistance we know that it is 3x divided by k a so we can write this is equal to t2 minus t1 divided by uh, into k a divided by 3x so according to question that is given that this is equal to t2 minus uh, t1 divided by k into a divided by uh, divided by x into f is given and rm is to find out the value of f over here so we can cancel this term over here this one and k and k and this x over here so we'll get the value of this f is equal to 1 divided by 3